it's a really cool day today because I am going CD shopping at one of my favorite CD stores, CD seller out in Arlington, Virginia. Hey guys, what's going on? So a few days ago, I went to one of my favorite CD stores, which is called CD Seller. They got a big selection of vinyl and also new and used CDs, and I picked up a few of them. And today I'm going to go through them and kind of show you what I've got. Most of them are Doom and Hard Rock, which is what I've been into as of late. So here we go. Up first, we've got Hour of 13, The Ritualist. These guys are from North Carolina, and they are heavily, heavily influenced by Black Sabbath. It sounds like Sabbath from the 70s. The guitars are very Iomi-like, and um, they even have a bit of... Um, a hint, I would say, of 80s hair metal. Just a hint, but for the most part, super riffy, super Black Sabbath. For fans of Black Sabbath and Doom, the stuff from the 70s, the stuff from that had Ozzy on it, really, really recommended for fans of that. Uh, the vocals are mid-range for the most part. They fit very well, and the, all the lyrics are pretty much occult. So all occult stuff, all Black Sabbath, this is great. I'm a fan of Black Sabbath, and I really like this band. So, uh, so this was a good find. So, um, Hour of Thirteen, The Ritualist. Up next, we got Horizon, which is a Swedish band, and they play hard rock, like '70s style hard rock, but very reminiscent to Judas Priest. They remind me a lot of like early Judas Priest. They even kind of sound a bit like Merciful Fate, a little bit. So uh, really, really cool. The vocals are, uh, they're good. They are very good. But I think it is an acquired taste for me at least. So I need a few more listens to this to get accustomed to the vocals because they can be a little bit like high pitched and um, I guess a little bit whiny. My personal opinion is maybe I think that if he was more, uh, applied more um, distortion to the vocals, maybe that that could be, make it a bit better for me but anyways still very very good album definitely check them out if you like 70s hard rock like judas priest stuff like that they got a few albums this is their third album and um i'm gonna listen to it some more i like these guys you know check them out there's a lot of cool hard rock and this kind of stuff from sweden horizon up next we've got earthless meets heavy blanket so this is a live recording of these two bands, Earthless and Heavy Blanket, and they're jamming. This is a jam band kind of record. Psych rock, uh, psych rock instrumental. I've never bought a CD like this before. This is, uh, I just got it because I saw it in the store and I thought it looked really cool. You know, had a cool trippy album cover, and I was like, oh, maybe it's like Doom or something like that. But, um, you know, yeah, you could see it here. Got a cool layout. This was recorded at Roadburn Festival in the Netherlands. So uh, it's an hour long. I listened to about half, half an hour of it. It's really, really good. Uh, a lot of soloing, a lot of jazziness, and like stuff like that. I don't know too much about it. This is the first time I buy a CD of this sort. But uh, these guys are from San Diego. Earthless is from San Diego. Heavy Blanket, I believe, is from Massachusetts. And uh, like I said, I think this is um, really good so far. I like what I hear for fans that like jam music, psych rock, things like that. Really cool art. And uh, yeah, can't wait to listen to this some more and uh, get into more of their uh, repertoire. So Earthless and Heavy Blanket. This next band I really, really like. They are called Medusa 1975. So they have a really interesting story. 
Originally, the band was called Medusa, and they're from the mid '70s. They never released anything. They, I don't know. I think maybe they went their separate ways or anything, or something like that. But then, 40 years later, they came back together, or someone contacted them because someone found their tape and liked it, and was like, "Hey, we'd like to release your stuff. Can we do that? Do you have any more stuff?" So they sent them what they had. And then they wrote a new album, which is this one here. I think due to some copyright stuff, they had to add the 75 to it. So Medusa, 1975. This is very much like 70s hard rock in the style of Deep Purple. I would say they have a lot of synth, uh, but also they got a psychedelic vibe. So it's kind of like the late 60s going into the early 70s style of hard rock very very good to listen to very good production and um yeah like i said they got the synth they got the guitars it's a cool cool vibe i i really uh i dig this a lot it's very trippy medusa 1975 i'll include a link to uh to this article i read which explains their history they're pretty cool they have they also so they released their first album in 2012 or 13 and that one has the recordings from the 70s. So if you want, go check that out. It's it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a time capsule of these kids who are no longer kids, but they were kids and they made a record and and or they made some songs, should I say? And it just got released, you know, in like 2013. So, anyways, this is uh Medusa 1975. Recommend for fans of Deep Purple, I would say, or any hard rock of that style with some synth in it. All right, and the last one from my list is Megasus. These guys are heavy, they're fuzzy, they're, they are chaotic, kind of like they're sludge doom. Um, if you like stuff like High on Fire mixed with Electric Wizard with a vocalist that sounds like Tom Araya, but distorted Tom Araya, uh, then this is for you. It uh, sounds very chaotic. The drums are kind of all over the place the guitars are fuzzy and like i said it's pretty chaotic megasis apparently these guys are the creators of guitar no not guitar hero but a rock band or one of these band one of these video games they uh they are the creators of it and this is their band they released this and some of that music was featured in uh the video game so yeah sludge doom pretty heavy chaotic if you like that stuff check them out they are good another cool thing is that this cd comes with came with a poster so it came with a, with a poster of the album cover pretty cool and also it's double-sided so this side or this side i don't know i haven't decided yet but um what do you guys think did you like the CD selections that I got? Do you guys know of the bands? Have you listened to it? What are your thoughts? I want to hear your thoughts in your comments. Let me know. And also, if you want to see my entire CD collection, this stuff that you see right here, the video up here that you see right now should take you to it. But uh, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate you guys. And uh, see you in the next video. Peace out.